we are a bunch of concerned parents who uh, take issue with some of the uh, erotica books. We are the parents of our kids and we will teach them the way we want. I think at a deep level they know that they're doing wrong. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Whitby, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing outside the headquarters of the Durham District School Board. They've been in the news for several months due to so many controversial decisions by this board and backlash by the parents. And tonight they're going to have another board meeting. It promises to be a, a raucous affair. I have to tell you, so far it's pretty quiet. Last month, my cameraman, Lincoln Jay and I, we came here um, for the previous school board meeting and there were dueling protests right here outside uh, the parking lot. Here, check it out. I'm not sure, <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, freedom of speech, right? I'm a transgender man and I feel that people are trying to take away my right to have my representation in a classroom. Uh, the statistics don't lie. We know that the majority of people who detransition do so because of a lack of access, uh, because of a lack of support. This time it got out that we're transphobic and we're anti-LGBTQ. Okay. Um, that is not why we're here. Some of our members are gay. My daughter is gay. And to that I would say, um, I'm not sure what they're consuming, but that is propaganda. Now at issue is the concerns of so many parents, namely, well, pornography in elementary school libraries. Some of the reading material is absolutely shocking. In fact, I'm too embarrassed to quote what some of the passages say. Other concerns are basically not just acceptance and tolerance for the LGBTQ, etc. plus community, but a demand for affirmation. For example, at John Dryden Public School tomorrow, there's going to be the raising of the Pride Progress flag for the third time in seven months. And the principal wrote a shocking letter to parents. He was saying, you're invited to come if you want or not, but attendance by your children is mandatory. There is no valid human rights exemption not to be there and cheer on the raising of the Pride flag. And also there is some motion afoot where this school board is going to try to make it against the rules to ask any question about sexuality, reading material, sexual orientation, uh, gender identification, you name it, uh, because this is too triggering for certain people and they want this to be a safe space. That's their way of, uh, I guess, selling censorship. In any event, the doors are gonna open in about a half an hour. An hour after that, the meeting begins and we'll just see what happens tonight. We're parents and we are very concerned. They are <clears throat> focusing on some ideologies and therefore completely forgetting the, uh, uh, why our kids go to school, which is to learn math, physics, science, but they, they put all those subjects aside and they just focus on, on uh, um, teaching kids some, some things which are not compatible with some parent values. We are a bunch of concerned parents who uh, take issue with some of the uh, erotica books that are within the school system right now. Uh, the, we've asked for a new uh, location list from the trustees, we're still awaiting for that information. There used to be a directory online, it's no longer available. I plan to ask them how they're gonna course correct on their mental health and well-being policies because the outcome is massive mental issues, suicide rates skyrocketing among youth, they're physically sicker with all the policies, and they are so full of anxiety. These are policies of division and hate so we are here to discuss this with the board and to let them know that uh, you know uh, we are we are the parents of our kids and we will teach them the way we want and you as as teachers and school board teach um, our kids how to excel in life special interest flags instead of just unifying them along common grounds values self-respect tolerance all of these things are harming our kids. They are not helpful whatsoever. And I want them to take responsibility for what they've done wrong and course correct. Every year they're putting more, uh, more emphasis on, on this stuff. 
and I'm not sure when it's going to stop. If we don't just stand up and raise, then I think uh, they will continue their agenda. I think they have a hidden agenda that we need to, you know, uh, as parents, uh, find what that is and uh, let them know that we're not happy. It's such a shame that uh, a lot of people are closed-minded to what's going on in our schools. I think at a deep level they know that they're doing wrong. How can they get away with spewing hate language, mm. calling certain races horrific names, mm. and yet promoting another? This is, this is teaching the kids to, to hate each other instead of loving each other. We should be focusing on values, reading, writing, arithmetic, teaching them self-respect, loving each other. I mean, it's common, basic sense. We printed some pages from those concerned books, for example, uh, Gender Queer, and we, we, uh, po uh, uh, we had some people here uh, post this poster with the pages, with the, with the problematic pages, and actually the police showed up and said that we're not allowed to show indecencies in the public. One of the persons to blame is the Minister of Education, oh. Stephen Lecce, who apparently has no spine. There are so many out of control school boards in this province. Where is he? Absolutely. I, I've written him. I, I don't even I can't even count how many letters that he yeah. never responded to during COVID. We are a group of more than 1500 parents, concerned yeah. parents, and we're going to do everything with, with our legal power to to tell them that we're not happy and we want the school to focus on, on math and science and just let this stuff be to their parents. And we're not against, to, uh, we're not against any, any, any group whatsoever. And they can do whatever they want to do, but let the school be a school and let the kids be innocent. You no, know, folks, I think we know where the Durham District School Board stands when it comes to, oh, I don't know, radical transgenderism. I think I'm standing in a crosswalk, but who knows? It looks like the rainbow flag Actually, the Pride Progress flag, as you can see, which makes special mention for trans and brown people and black people. What does race, by the way, have to do with sexual orientation and gender identification? I've never been to a publicly funded school board in which the media have been told yeah. no cameras. I mean, why would they be so censorious this way? I don't have the answers for you. Those is what I was told. And any further action that you want to take, please contact the DDSB. Well, there you have it, folks. We wanted to cover this Durham District School Board and all the inherent controversy that goes with it. But two things, two unfunny things happened en route to coming here tonight. First of all, as you saw, we were told by security, no cameras. Well, that's a big problem if we're part of a visual uh, medium. We want to record what's going on. We can't count on the live stream because these control freaks of the Durham District School Board, they control the feed. In other words, if a parent asks an insensitive question, they cut the feed. They are teaching false gender ideologies that's causing an epidemic of gen... Okay, I am going to... And uh, I have cut, cut you off because this is longer than the question that you had submitted to be provided. That's why we came out here. And also, as you can see by these people that are being shut out, um, the capacity has already been reached. So we're going to have to make um, a lemonade with our lemons. Uh, we'll reach out to people after the fact, see what goes down here. They are such control freaks. They are so hell-bent on controlling the narrative. They won't allow cameras to record what's going to go on there. I wonder what they're hiding. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, whatever happened to education in the classroom as opposed to indoctrination and what vile indoctrination it is indeed. If you feel the way we do, please go to stopclassroomgrooming.com. That's stopclassroomgrooming.com. Sign the petition and we shall deliver it to the powers that be.